Theatre imitates life and sometimes it's the other way round. We act a certain way to our friends and we speak differently to our colleagues. When can we ever be sure that we are being our true selves? Who is the real Yuki Nojo? The angry one seeking revenge? Or is it the gentle one afraid of hurting others? Luckily, we don't have to look very far. It was the one on stage, the actor Yuki Nojo. An Actor's Revenge is a film about Yuki Nojo, an actor seeking revenge for the injustice done to his parents. His enemies include the powerful Lord Dobi and two wealthy merchants, Hiromiya and Kawaguchiya. The whole narrative played out as though it was a theatre, scene by scene, act by act, and play by play. As Yuki Nojo carries out his plan, the plot intertwines with Yamitaro and Ohatsu, the two famous thieves. Yamitaro acts as a reliable narrator as he watches Yuki Nojo from afar. The plot is actually quite easy to digest as it is meant to unveil as a theatrical play. From the start, Yuki Nojo assigns the roles to the unsuspecting characters. In almost every scene, we are brought to a visually entrancing white shot. White shots tend to introduce a scene and orientate the viewers on the sense of space and direction. In this case, almost every white shot plays the perspective of a theater. There is no need in telling of direction or space because, well, a theatre is constricted by its four walls and background. There is no need for imagination, just sit back and let the storyteller Yuki Nojo show you his revenge. I often find white shots the hardest to frame. Films today often cut closer and closer to a subject and staging becomes less of a part in cinema. I love the way an actor's revenge lays out a scene because sometimes watching something from afar is the best way to appreciate beauty. Yamitaro comments that, as you might expect of an actor's revenge, it's going to be a flamboyant performance. And it was flamboyant to its bitter end, when Yuki Nojo has succeeded. His play is over, the audience clap, and the curtains fall. I hear it.